hi there welcome to threading tutorial in this video we will learn thread dot join operation so this is very simple thread program thread join example that implement runnable method and it has one overridden method in this overridden method we have a loop that loop for 10 time and it will just print the current thread the name of the thread and these are the three thread object thread t thread t1 and thread t2 and we are starting the thread t dot start t2 dot start t1 dot start t2 dot start so let's run this program so after running this program we can see the output thread 2 1 3 then 2 1 3 so what is happening like this is this runnable the run method is called by the thread t1 thread t t1 and t2 so the join will come in picture when we wait for this thread to die so for example if you want t1 to be started only after t dot start is finished and t2 to be started off only after t1 dot start is finished then we have to use the thread dot join so let's join so we can see we have three overridden method t dot join t dot join with millisecond and t dot join with millisecond and the nanos so we will for demo purpose using join method then t1 dot join and t2 dot join so this join will throw interrupted exception so let's run again this program we can see that thread 1 thread 2 and thread 3 is getting printed so this is printed for 10 after that it died then thread 2 kicked in it printed for 10 time then thread 2 died then thread 3 printed for 10 time then finally it died so again thread dot join wait for this thread to die so if you want to run if you want to use join method only when you want to ensure that the other thread should stop the other thread only start when the current thread execution is died or it's timed out okay thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries or concern i will try to answer over the comment thank you